before we could get started with removing the engine, we needed to move the van so it had a level area in front of the engine bay to make it more straightforward to lift the engine out. Luckily my brother-in-law has a Land Rover with a winch which made this job much easier. Probably one of the worst days to do this weather-wise, but it was the only day we were all free. Now the van has been moved, we just needed to wait for a dry day to get the engine out. The day had finally come to remove the engine. We started by removing the drive shafts. Even with the long breaker bar, the driver's side drive shaft nut did not come undone easily. Next up was the passenger side. Whilst trying to undo the nut on the passenger side, the ratchet adapter just sheared off. 
We then also tried a different breaker bar in a scaffold pole just for a bit more leverage, but that broke too. Finally, a monkey wrench in the scaffold tube did the trick. With the passenger side drive shaft removed, this side just needed to be reassembled and then we could move on to the driver's side drive shaft.
I removed the leisure battery tray just so it didn't get in the way when it was time to lift the engine out. Now the driver's side drive shaft has been removed. This side just needed to be put back together and then we could move on to loosening the engine mounts.
Now it was ready to be lifted out, we got the engine crane ready. We did have to cut the exhaust as the bolts were too rusty and would not come undone but the plan is to buy a new exhaust system anyway. And there it was, one engine and gearbox removed. This felt like quite a good step forward in terms of the van's restoration. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell to see what happens next. Also, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, it's keeping up with the camper van. Thank you.